the way you let go of unforgiveness is to put the other first and your third. Just why third? Because God is first, others are second, you are third. When you get that you are third, I am third, everything changes in your life. You now have the, uh, the hierarchy of God. This is the hierarchy of the gospel, the way God intended it and created it to be. God first. Love God. Right? Above all things, all creatures. Put Him first in your life. That's the number one commandment. What's the number two commandment? Love others as you love yourself. Do you get that? So the number two commandment is love others, so they're number two, as you love yourself. So who's number three? You are. That's it. That's your simple formula for life. If you do that, and I know that looks like, you know, <laughs> uh, different in every different situation. But if you put God above all, that means with your time, you spend time with him, and you obey his commands. That's how you put God first in your life. And then love others before you love yourself. Well, Joseph, what about self-love? Like, isn't it good to love myself? Of course it's good to love yourself. But how did God say to love yourself? He said, love others as you would love yourself. And when you love God first, he pours your identity into you so that there's this natural outpouring of self-love. Because once you get who you are, that you are precious son, precious daughter, like you, there's this inner knowing within you that you belong to him, that he is your father, and you are loved and protected, and you're enough, and you're worthy, like the, an inner knowing that comes from you spending time with him an hour a day. And he pours that identity into you. See? So when you put him first, he fills you up with self-love. 